Hello. In this video, we're going to review how SOA Suite processes getting data from a package procedure or function that returns a sysref cursor. The sysref cursor is a generic type of cursor available in Oracle, and you can grab data and just throw it into a cursor and then return it to a calling program. It's very useful. You don't have to define it. It uh, apparently has metadata that allows Oracle to infer the structure. And here we have a example. We load in the customer ID and all we do is open the cursor, select the values we want from the cursor from the table and we're getting in where the status is incomplete and the customer ID is this and we're returning the cursor. If we look at the data, it looks like this. The customer ID is two and you can see that that is all the same. The order IDs are here, dates, cash, whatever, status is all incomplete. And if we look at our Bepo process or our composite, this is the DB adapter that gets it. And the interesting thing about this is first you choose it here and then you you choose the, the function you want. <clears throat> when you press the introspect button, it then allows it to almost run it in a way and then write out this here XSD document, which defines the structure. And here we are assigning the customer ID, invoking the uh, get customer order data, and loading it into this. Well, no, sorry, the input data is loading it into here. <clears throat> and um, here, actually, I am comparing the uh, use of an assign variable versus the transform. Now, the assign variable, the data that we're getting back is going to be um, multiple records. And I have decided to place it into a new data structure where we base it by customer ID and the orders of that person. So you basically have record set coming back where all of this is in one row, but then we're setting it so that this is now the parent record, as it were, and then these are the child records for that parent. And let me show you the XSD for that. I call it transformed. The customer ID and then the orders and then the orders are based on this order type. So you'll have the customer and the order with multiple children. Let's go back to the Bethel. So when you use an assign to cycle through the data and load it into an, a, another variable, you need to place it into a for each. And you also need to Do each row by itself. Now here I'm first getting the first row and you can see that the number one here is chosen and that just tells me to get the first record. As we saw in the SQL all of the customers IDs are all the same so we don't need to discriminate between which one is which although we could we don't need to load it more than once. Here we have position equals n and position equals n. Now with three variables that we need to move over, this isn't a lot, but if there were a lot of variables, it would be quite a lot of work and setting each one of these up and moving it over would be quite a lot. And as we see, we will see when we run this, it's also quite a lot to um, have the 
uh, assigns done multiple times. Now the transform is much easier. We basically choose the output parameter as the value that we want to get and then we are going to place it into the output variable for the Bepel process and we use a transform. And uh, using the transform we pull in the for each very simply and we can take the customer ID and set it to this value and then we take this value and do this value to this value. A lot less work. Now there is one advantage to using the assign and that's because here you're only limited to this particular set of, of details here. If we look at the assign again, we have all of the variables in the Bevel process available to us. So we can mix and match if we need to. We can grab from any of these variables and load data as we need to. Um, so there is one advantage to using the assign, which is having all of those variables. And that's the main reason is, is that the assign is a basic integral part of the Bepel process, where the transform is its own separate file over here. OK, let's run this and see how this works. Okay, I have a test web service over here. I'm going to be using uh, customer ID number two. It runs it in two seconds and four, four milliseconds there. Okay, so the payload, this is the payload. And you can see that we have the customer ID and then we have multiple orders <clears throat> that correspond to this data here. So order ID um, 105. Don't really have too much information here, really, but that's the one record that we're looking at there. And here is my for each. Now, <clears throat> this is the first record. It assigns a two. Then it assigns a two and a six. So you can see that it's going through each and every one of those processes and assigning it for each and every one of those records. If anything, this is just a bunch of extra verbiage that uh, needs to be supported, although in production they don't really show assignments. I have this set at um, development level over here, as you can see, current audit level over in the upper right. But each one of these has a payload assignment whereas the transform only has this I bump, bumped that around a little bit but it did it in one shot and here you can see that you have the customer id here and then these are seemingly as children each one of them and then the payload which it was assigning it to is the same so you can see that the verbiage involved in using an assign First of all, in JDeveloper, setting the assign, you have to put it in a for each. You have to set up the for each. But then you have to assign each and every single one of these. And you can make mistakes. The only advantage I see is that you have access to other input variables here that you could use if you needed to. I'm not sure that you necessarily would. The transform by the same token, is limited to the values that you have here, although you do have the ability to do date and uh, logical functions, whatever functions you need to do here, uh, which is nice. Uh, it gives you the same basic functionality that you would have in the assign, but you're limited to the rows that are here, and mainly because it is a separate file in the um, in the process. It isn't related to the Bepel as the assign is. But I think that the transform is much better as far as set, setting it up and um, verbiage in the whole process here of, of reviewing it.
It's one set, just as is. Okay, that wraps it up. Thank you very much.